Hi. I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. And today we're going to bring you a hair tutorial. You know, I mean, we're going to show you what we do. Yeah. We <laughs> hesitate to say follow these instructions because half the time it doesn't even turn out the way we want it. Nope. Hence the reason I cut all mine off. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we had um, gotten a couple requests for hair tutorials in the comments and on Instagram. So, you know, we're here to please. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is a pretty realistic representation of what we, other than our makeup, we don't look yeah. like this every day, but our, what our hair looks like. I mean, yeah, this is me out of the shower. Now that my hair is long enough to actually go in a ponytail, I find myself wearing it in a ponytail more often yeah. than I ever before. I am calling this my Jamie Lee Curtis look. Yes, I mean, 100% is. If you get the reference, of the wet slick back hair then you'll know so normally we show you what kind of cocktail or wine or beer we're drinking but we're old <laughs> and it's a Monday it's a Monday and so we're drinking tea just a cup of hot tea cheers, cheers. I can't put this in my mouth no it looks way too hot it was boiling I think I may actually pull my tea bag out put an ice cube in it so the tea we're drinking today is from a recent Hardy and Sons order that we placed and I'm drinking the Tower of London Fresh Black Tea Blend. And I love that they offer you the ability to buy like 20 to 50 sachets, or you can just test it with like three or five. Yes. That's what I did here. Yeah, I really like that. What's yours? Um, uh, mine is the Gingerbread Festival. It's black tea with ginger, cinnamon, and molasses. It seems a little early, but honestly, I'm not drinking yeah. coffee. And if I'm not drinking coffee, sometimes I miss that sort of like deep flavor in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, a lot you know light tea, white tea green tea fruit teas just don't give me the same like oomph so that's why I went for this one this is approved by the historic royal palaces oh. it's black tea stirred with oil bergamot fruit and honey flavors flavors they yield a blend reminiscent of Elizabethan preserves mmm there's black currant <laughs> I love black currant actually I didn't realize how much I love black currant until I studied abroad so the look I'm going for today is um, a pixie. Done. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much it. I really don't use my brush that much and I use no tools other than a hair dryer and my hands and a lot of hair product. Um, so my hair is two days dirty. I did allow it to air dry curly. I find that I think both the products that I put it in when it's curly and letting it dry with a little bit of natural texture helps it to hold texture later. I also find that my hair looks the best after I've actually used like styling products in it and then I'm Same. restyling it. So usually uh, second or third day hair is my favorite hair. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, oh, plugged it in, didn't turn it on. Geniuses. Okay. Uh, but so I'm just going to be trying to do like a sort of a loose wave. If you saw the photos or the video of the get ready with me um, for the wedding, it's going to be similar to that. And I am using actually an old product that I have. It's just a Beauty Labs um, curling wand. I think it's a one, it might be a three quarter inch, but I find that at my hair length right now, I tend to do best with this one because I don't over curl it as much or something. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. So I start with product and the first thing I'm going to put in here. What is this? It's by Hair Story, who, by the way, I'm pretty sure they've reached out to us before. Huh. Well, guess what? They sell it at Laboratory, which is where we get our hair cut. Mm. Um, this is the Undressed Texture Hairspray. Don't think of it as hairspray like it's going to hold into place your style. Think of it as a nice, lightweight, salt-free texture spray that smells amazing and feels really good. You know, I really want to get this all over because... With short hair, you need a lot of texture for it to look good, honestly. Oh, you know what I forgot? What's that? A mirror. So now that we have mirrors, this may be a slight challenge. I'm literally going to be styling my hair in this, like, 4 by 4 mirror, which I've never done before. Um, what I just did for a second off camera is that I sectioned my hair. So I went right along the top of my ear um, and sectioned this, and then I split it just so that I can get these pieces, and then I'll pull it down. So I have these clips are one of my favorite things I've ever purchased for styling my hair mm -hmm. because they just make it so easy to like throw it up in whatever position I want it in. And then I just can just pull it down as I go. Cool. Yes. So after I've done that hair story texture spray, I'm going to dry my hair roughly with my hands. I might pull in this one and a half inch round brush that I have. This is the best brush that I ever bought that I didn't know that I needed. Because mm -hmm. I always looked at this texture brush mm -hmm. as something that wasn't good for my hair. Like, I just saw it as a giant knot waiting to happen. Yeah. 
And it's so smoothing. Like, no wonder people use it to freaking give themselves blowouts. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah, because it provides so much more tension <sighs> on your hair than, like, a traditional brush. And it just, I don't know, it feels good. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take my curling wand. I'm going to burn myself a lot today, I have a feeling, because of the small mirror. Um, but I'm just taking sections, and I'm going to wrap clockwise around the barrel and then occasionally I'll throw in one that's wrapped counterclockwise so towards my face. Um, I'm also leaving the tails out and I am kind of curling it pretty hard because I know that it will fall and so I just want to get like a texture in there and then I will break it apart as much as I want. And then occasionally I'll actually just loop the curl back on itself and hold it for a hot, just a second mm -hmm. to let it cool that way and then I'll let it down and it will just We'll see. It's not a perfect science. And honestly, it almost never turns out the way I want it. <laughs> That's how I feel with day one. Like my hair probably won't look as good as I want it to, but can I turn this on or do you need to say more? No, I think that's it. I'm just okay. gonna work through the sections and then when she's done drying, I will report back. And this is a T3 Feather Light hair dryer, by the way. And you know, highly recommend something with a nozzle that turns. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing just sort of like one inch sections I really want to do larger sections because I feel like it's cuter looking but for some reason I feel like my hair just doesn't hold it mm. if I do big sections here's my right after drying you know this is the Sean Hunter yes. if you're our generation or the Justin Bieber if you're younger than us and as you can see like there is some volume in my hair which is great because it's from that texture spray, but it's very, very touchable. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. So I'm still learning how to do this because I've only had short hair for like a month. I don't fix it every day. Like I'm at home working. I don't give a shit what it looks like. So here's what I've learned. I like a good texture spray that has good hold, but still allows me to kind of finger comb my hair and put pieces into place where I want them. So the things that I've been using which I'm nearly out of this, which is really upsetting. The Kristen S Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. Really what I'm gonna do with this is spray it throughout my entire head of hair. And not take Caitlin. Mm, good book. I think it's in it empties. Okay, so we've done that. It's very scientific. Then I'm gonna find where my part is, and I'm gonna use one of Caitlin's duckbill doodads. Yep. And this kind of varies. Like, I have a cowlick that I'm trying to combat all of the time, so it really just does depend on how it looks when I get it parted. So once I've got it parted where I want it, then I'm just gonna rake my fingers through it and do some adjustments until I feel like I'm okay with it. And that's it. There's like no, I don't do the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. Like it's just trial and error. Um, I like a lot of volume right here. So I'm going to be working on that. I have been trying to like move my part over for probably a year. Really? Yeah. Not significantly, but I also have a calic in the front that makes me um, makes it most natural for me to just do a really deep side part. But it's, you know, all the cool kids are doing center parts, which I've tried. I don't love it on my face. I have a very round face, and I just don't think it's, like, meant for that. Uh, but we're, we're going to try and push it over a little bit. Okay, so this piece, which is right above my ear, and it's in, like, a mid-layer, is the one that I'm going to wrap counterclockwise towards my face 
And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna curl it back and then hold it a little bit. I also find that it helps me get a little bit more lift in the root. Like look how done this curl looks. But it will work out because it's in, an, it's in a mid layer so you're not gonna see that but it's gonna give the hair above it a little oomph. Well, I'm gonna shake the shit out of it later so I don't know how much it matters. I'm like moderately okay with how this is right now. If I let it chill like this for a few minutes, then I feel like it's kind of gotten its memory, its shape memory of where I am telling my hair to go. And that's when I'll go in and try to perfect it a little bit and use a tiny bit of my Kenra volume spray. This is the Super Hold Finishing Spray, number 25. Love this, have for years, and it's wonderful. Alternatively, if you don't wanna use a texture spray, like you just don't like aerosol, I really found myself reaching for texture powders a lot. And this one I don't think they make anymore. It's Amika's Vandal Volume Powder Spray. And I also really like the Dry Bar Southern Belle one. These do have a way of making your hair feel a little bit more gunky, sticky, not touchable. However, maximum volume with these products. Yeah. Maximum. You just spray it in your root, you kind of and then your hair won't move. <laughs> Do you find it that you have to wash your hair the next day after using them though? Um, I should, but I don't. How's that? I mean, I knew what the answer was, but. How weird is it that I just did my whole hair? I know. Start, start to finish. This is why I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, amongst many other reasons. So that's pretty much it. That's my hair. <laughs> no, that's amazing. It just. Fingers, fingers, fingers. I know, I can't even believe it. But you have the perfect hair texture for that. Because like, yes, because if I cut my hair short, yeah. it would look ridiculous. I wouldn't be able to just do that. But your hair smooths so well. Like, it straightens so well. But I would have to, I would yeah. have to use, I couldn't just blow it dry. Yeah. I would have to use heat tools on it. I'm the worst hair person. Uh, hot tip, keep your hot tool hot. Because hot I tool. am going to like spray this and let it fall, but then there might be pieces that I'm gonna wanna correct after I've shaken the shit out of it. So I'm just gonna leave that on and off camera. And then, uh, I mean, re realistically, if this, if I was at home, I would then continue like getting dressed, like doing a bunch of stuff while my hair more or less looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then only sort of right before I leave the house will I actually like finger comb it and everything. So it's gonna be different because I'm not gonna wait 15 minutes. We're not gonna sit here and wait for my hair to cool for 15 minutes. But I am gonna give it a light spray. And also like don't just spray the top of your head. Like pick up, yeah. Pick up your hair. Great attack, you ready? Honestly. I will say, I don't really watch her stuff anymore, but Kate Small Things was the person who was like, you're not doing any good by taking your hair product and just like putting it on the top layer. You have to get all the strands of your hair if you want all of your hair to look good. Yeah, so I um, for all products. definitely do have a more, uh, I make more of an effort to, I'll like flip over. Yeah. I will pick up and spray into the, like the mid shaft and like the middle layers. And at this point, I'm just doing like a, what I would consider a light coating. That's a light coating. Yeah. Girl. Um, girl. Well, no, because nothing is like crisp. Yeah. I get it. It's touchable. But I can feel it in there. And so that's just going to help it stay where it is while it cools. I'm going to actually look at what it looks like. And then I'm going to sort of just work my fingers slightly through just so that any pieces that have been like heat fused will loosen up so they don't end up looking like, you know, like an eighth grade dance curl. First thing in the morning at work, my hair looks a little nuts. First 20 minutes of an event, my hair looks a little nuts because it's like so freshly styled. Okay, and yeah, like this is way curlier than it will end up in about an hour. So there's, we're gonna film multiple videos today. Yeah. Compare my hair. Yes. Um, and when it comes to, I don't really have a, a huge amount of feelings about hairspray. So this one was just a random one that I picked up. It's the Aussie Mega, 
Mega Hairspray 24 Hour Flexible Hold. It is a one on their scale of one to four for most mm. firm. Uh, and I, it's fine. I don't mind it at all. I do find that I think it smells like grape, which I don't love. And also just the size of this can is obnoxious. Like high school. Um, but then the one thing that I do really love is the Eva NYC Shapeshifter Texturizing Hairspray and also the Blue Can, which is just a texture spray. I enjoy both of them, 100% yeah. repurchase, and I have been lucky enough to find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. That's it, we did it. We did see, it. My hair, see this is one thing, my hair ends up sometimes looking really flat on the top. Spider. Oh yeah. He's the kind with like the lobster pinchers. Mm-hmm. I don't love that. I don't love that. So I always am like trying to like oomph it on the top so that it doesn't end up flat and then I don't know, it just it, sometimes it looks like my mother. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean I've been called a Karen already, so fuck you. Ooh, when did that happen? Oh, you know TikTok, they all. Oh. I will say TikTok is just full of the mean people. Yes. All the mean people go to TikTok. I was talking about that with someone the other day, but I think it's because most people on TikTok don't actually make content. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Snakes. Snakes. Please. This. Yeah, oh, as always, um, if you have more suggestions for things you'd like to see us do with our hair, other than doing each other's hair, creepy people that always ask us for I that. I have a butterfly cornrows in. I really want you to. Okay. Really, because I just feel like that hair length is so perfect for yeah, it, but it I also want you to do like the spiky bits at the end. Ew, no. Like I'm not doing on. Kate Gosselin. Kate, no, 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 no. She did that though. No, no, no. I'm talking about where it's like cornrows, but then the end of the hair, you don't just like lay back. You like, you kind of make it spiky. Ew, no. It's like, uh, uh, what's, I don't know, like, ha not how to lose a guy. In She's all that. She's all that, or, um, the one with Julia Stiles. Oh. 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes. Yeah, it's like that era of, yes, of I know what you're uh, doing now. formal hair. Totally. Uh, Let's the, go to homecoming. Right. Or like the girl group Bewitched. They would Bewitched. I feel like they would do something like that. Or Cheetah Girls. I never watched that. I don't know. I think they were a little too young for us. Oh, it was a movie? It wasn't a group? Both. Oh, okay. I, it was, I think, a show. Oh, I didn't know that. See, that's the thing. I've never... Nope. Didn't follow it. Anyhow, what's on your mouth? Uh, it is a combo of the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade Skills. And then, which is just, it's a lighter shade than I've probably ever used in my entire life. And sometimes I wear it and I think that it's too light. Um, but right now I really like it. And then it is topped off with some of the Tower 28 Gloss in Cashew. And I wish you could see inside this tube yeah. how little is left, you guys. I am going to finish another lip product. Get out. I'm so proud. I'm wearing White Russian by Buxom on my mouth. It's kind of similar to Caitlyn's, honestly. I think mine's mine's oranger and I think yeah. it's drier. That's the one thing about this formula I don't love. It's a little dry. Oh. This is a little bit pink. And so I did also use cashew over top. We did not plan this, we never do. And I haven't reached for this in quite a while because I've been so hung up on coconut by them, which is pink. That's but, pinkier, right? Yeah, but like going into fall and stuff, I'm just like ready to Get back into the deeps. I rediscovered my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. Medium. Yeah. And I cannot wait for fall because I'm so in love with it. I missed it a lot and I cannot wait to wear it. It's going to yeah. be so perfect. Okay, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, thanks so much. It's just so exciting. I mean, last time I checked, it was over 10,000 subscribers. I mean, subscribers. here's to the next 10. Here's to the next 10. Cheers. 10,000, not just 10. We've already gotten the next 10. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We're gonna uh, cut, cut it. it. Bye.